Please can you just tell us who you are and I'm what you're doing? I'm Senator Adesha Yogulewe. Yes, I've been permanent secretary in Lagos State. In fact, I built this stadium. I grew up knowing this stadium. And this was the center of whatever was football in Nigeria. Whatever game we played with Ghana, whichever country, even the visitors, that is the, yes, the, uh, the British travel, visiting yes. team, where you had all the best players in, in, in England coming, they played here. Our best Nigerian captain, you know, grew up from here. So I was very happy when I saw in the newspaper there's that there's a match in Oniko Stadium, which I've never had for a long time. And I decided to come and see. Unfortunately, we don't have the crowd. When we were younger, we'll come here at 8 a.m. <laughs> for you. a football match that we start 3.45. It was as good as that. And every Lagosian, the young people, were enjoying football. Principal Cups, every the stadium would be full. Not to talk about Shalane Cups. Exactly. exactly. It was exciting. Not to talk about International Cup, Nigerian Ghana. When the rivalries were built. What are the best? Okay, sir. Um, You've, you've looked around and one thing you said was that um, we can see stadium empty. Yes. What can be done, sir, to, to bring back crowds? Publicity. And bring the best games here. If Nigeria wants to play, why can't they play here? What is that? Are they going to lose? This is the heritage we have in Nigerian football. Only Kong Stadium. King George Defeat Stadium at that time. They should bring, you all know, so bring stars here. Bring Karim Wako, bring JJ Okocha. Bring those that played here before, bring them. The people will come and see them, and then they will try to watch football. They will leave English football alone. Okay, sir. So I remember there was a there was a, there was, a, there was an event last year, the Soccer Rex event, mm -hmm. and the French um, league organizers came, and they said that one of the things they did for their league was to look at the scheduling of matches all over Europe and try to pattern their brands around um, outside of the schedule of the brands that were bigger than their brand. Do you think that kind of thing might work here in Nigeria? Because no. at this time they are showing Premier League now, everybody is watching TV. No, it's because the names of the clubs has no correlation with community. Mm. If the names of the club are community based, if you go to Island Club now, you go to Koyu Club, you go to um, um, Yoruba Tennis Club, yes, sir. Eko Club, a place to be filled. They don't watch football. But if you can base the teams, on localities and communities, or like your own yes. society, then your people should come and watch. That is where to start. Where you have Lagos Island against Lagos Amenland, yes. or Ikorodu against Badagri. Yes, like Davis. Like Davis. Then they will come. But where the names are not associated to any community or city, it's difficult. Like Manchester City, yes. Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea. Yes. Yes. These are area. I mean clubs. Yes. Where are the people living in the area who now subscribe to come and watch? And it becomes their own. Since you, you grow up like we are on stationary stores. If today stationary stores is playing here, if this is before. you will not believe what you are going to see. So we have our ECN, we have brand names. We store supporters, we are in thousands. And we come and watch superstars. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations for this. Thank you. Just for precise, it will come back to the old days okay, of football and football. We, we ask you, as you United, that you come, you be our permanent guest of honor. I'll come. Yeah. I'll Every come. match, I'll, I'll, come. Like come. I'll come. Thank you very much, sir. My pleasure. My pleasure. Congratulations once again. Congratulations. We'll let you watch the match. We'll come back okay. to you. <laughs> okay, sir.